no one has co contributed more, Mukesh, to help India become a high-tech and a deep-tech India. Now, you're at the beginning of that journey. You have great aspirations. I know you have deep aspirations to help India become a deep-tech industry. And, and uh, what gives you that conviction and why is artificial intelligence that moment for India? So Jensen, first let me welcome you to our city of Mumbai. A city Thank you. With a large heart. We are in what is the Geo World Center, which is new, which is built by my wife. So if I don't say it's built by my wife, I was instructed to say that. <laughs> I'm at her house? <laughs> in terms her house is bigger than your up. house. <laughs> And I thought your house was pretty big. Just you so know, you know, from Mukesh's house, I could see my house in California. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, you know, while I was listening to you, you talked about Nvidia being an exotic place. And I was thinking that when you were in India, I've got to give you my version of what... Uh, NVIDIA means to me, and I was just thinking about it backstage. Uh, there's a very important word link which is called Vidya, P I D Y A, right? And in, in Indian, in Hindi, as we are all determined to make the best LLM in Hindi, right? In Hindi, Vidya means knowledge. I knew I named the company right. I knew it. So Everybody even, said, NVIDIA, what a horrible name. You will never make it. So what it means... I knew it. I stuck yeah. with it. So you, you can take credit for this interpretation. Gosh. No problem. <laughs> right? So it still is Gosh, getting... Gosh, I'm smart. It, it, it gets better, uh, Jensen. So if we think about Vidya, Vidya is uh, Saraswati. And Saraswati is our goddess of knowledge. So when you actually devote yourself sincerely to the goddess of knowledge and you acquire knowledge, then in our tradition, the goddess of prosperity, which is Lakshmi, follows. So what you are doing... 32 is, years ago, I knew this. So our and now the story so, of NVIDIA has been revealed to all of you. So, <laughs> so our first principles right, are what you are driving Thank you. is the knowledge revolution converting into the international, into what I call the intelligence revolution. And that drives prosperity across the world for all, all the 8 billion people. And I think that what we are at the doorsteps of is the new intelligence age. And on behalf of everybody, I am very proud to have you as my friend. And welcome to India. And thank you for actually contributing to the world to bring the intelligence age in our lifetime and hopefully together with everybody this can drive to more prosperity for all the eight billion people in the world and particularly the one and a half billion people in India. Mukesh, it is, it is such an honor and such a great privilege and an incredible joy to be able to contribute in this way. And, and um, uh, as, as you know, uh, s the IT industry of India is world-renowned no world for its very large scale and not just in size but in deep expertise of computer science. Uh, very few com countries in the world has this natural resource, this amazing natural resource called IT and computer science expertise. In the last couple of years, we've been working together to upskill 
And we've now upscaled about 200,000 IT professionals into the world of AI. You know, what, what do we have to do together and how can we work together to help transform India at the speed of light, really? Because everything is moving so fast. To, 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 to transform India into a center, not of just IT, but a center of AI. So, from my point of view, uh, Jensen, let me tell you my own uh, experience uh, in India. First, right, as uh, our Prime Minister has said, that this is a new aspirational India. What we have today is we are among the only country in the world where the average age of 1.4 billion Indians is below 35. So what is driving our economy is not only new technologies like AI, but also aspirations. And I believe that uh, you know the Prime Minister, and I believe that his leadership in terms of converting India to a premier digital society has been vital and continues to drive activity at the ground level. So it's demography, it's leadership. The third factor is that we as Indians have the raw talent. You talked about converting 200,000 people into this, but I believe there are millions, right? If we now see India has become home, right, among all the companies across the world. We are our fastest in growing industry is global competency centers. So we do space research in India. We do pharmaceutical research in India. I'm sure that uh, quantum, you are thinking computing. of building chips yep. in India. That's right. We are in our own energy industry, we do bioenergy industry, mm -hmm. all the energy majors, Shell, BP, right, actually do their innovation in India. Mm -hmm. So India is fast becoming an innovation hub for the world in terms of where we are and not the manufacturing hub. And, and so you know, we have, we have over 10,000 engineers here so in India ourselves. So that's yeah. like our challenge. What we also have is we also have what I call the necessary infrastructure and we've been fortunate that we have the connectivity infrastructure which I is equivalent to the roads. So if you don't have roads, you will not reach your destination. So I believe that today apart from the US and China, right? India has the best digital connectivity infrastructure, 4G, 5G, and broadband in yeah. the world. Yeah. Right. 